So today's video is very special. I got two laptops, the MacBook Pro 16 and the X1 Extreme Gen 2. Like these are two laptops that are very similar for certain types of individuals, possibly creators, anyone who wants something that's portable, but has a dedicated GPU for more intensive tasks. The X1, is lighter at 3.76 pounds compared to 4.3 with the MacBook Pro. You have this nice carbon fiber weave on the top. It has a rubber texture to it, so it will pick up fingerprints a bit easier, but overall it has a good feel. In terms of form factor, the MacBook Pro is thinner and actually has a smaller form factor than the X1 Extreme, but the X1 Extreme gives you a spill resistant keyboard. So if you're a sloppy person like me and you accidentally spill some water on this, this will most likely survive survive, whereas the MacBook Pro won't. Now two things to keep these things clean. With the X1 Extreme, you're gonna to wanna to buy a microfiber cloth just to continuously clean your fingerprints. The MacBook Pro, I'd probably place like a dbrand skin on top just to protect it from scratches. Now if IO and not having to carry around dongles with you is really important, the X1 Extreme offers a better selection. You're getting two USB-A ports, the SD card slot, and then on the other side, you have your two USB Type-C Thunderbolt 3 ports, full-size HDMI, and an audio jack. The MacBook Pro only offers you four Thunderbolt 3 ports, which means for a lot of things, you're gonna have to carry dongles. Now internally, the edge also goes to the X1 Extreme. You just have a lot more things you can upgrade down the road. The RAM, you can swap it out for something more. You have two SSD slots, one is full. You can expand a second one in the future. Even the Wi-Fi card is replaceable on the X1 Extreme, whereas the MacBook Pro, everything is soldered onto the motherboard. Now, when it comes to battery life, the MacBook Pro 16 gets 10 hours of use before needing to charge. That is significantly more than the three to four you'd get on the X1 Extreme. Now, there is a bigger battery, but you have a bigger display, whereas the Lenovo X1 Extreme is using a 4K display, so I'm not expecting the battery life to be as good. Now, if you do buy the 1080p model, you'll get more, but I still don't think it's gonna be 10 hours. The displays are kind of interesting. The MacBook Pro has a 16 by 10 aspect ratio and you're stuck to a retina display which has a resolution of 3072 by 1920. The Lenovo display on the other hand, the one I have here is OLED. It only comes in 16 by nine, but you have the option to choose between a 4K IPS display that's matte, so you don't get any glossy reflections, or full HD. When it comes to color accuracy, the slight edge goes to the MacBook Pro. It's just a little bit better. It also happens to have a brighter panel. However, when it comes to gamut, the Lenovo X1 Extreme excels. There's just punchier colors, higher sRGB, higher Adobe RGB. Like when you look at the display on the X1 Extreme, you're gonna wanna watch movies on this, but if you're more of a designer, you'll probably appreciate the MacBook Pro. Now performance is probably the most interesting thing. They both have i9 processors and their own dedicated GPUs. The only difference between both of these laptops is the type of GPU and that I'm using 64 gigabytes of RAM in the MacBook Pro compared to 32 in the Lenovo X1 Extreme. Now all the tests I did don't really take advantage of the extra 32 gigabytes of RAM. So everything you're gonna see in here is pretty fair. The one thing I do wanna mention is that the GPU inside of the MacBook Pro is much beefier than the 1650 Max-Q that you get in the Lenovo X1 Extreme. So if you're doing gaming, if you're using any sort of application that utilizes the GPU, you might see better performance from the MacBook Pro. When it comes to CPU performance, they both handle it differently. The Lenovo doesn't let the CPU go over 80 degrees, so you're gonna see it top out about 2.75 gigahertz, whereas the MacBook Pro, it kind of stays around 88 degrees, where the CPU tops out at around three to 3.2 gigahertz. So every test I did that involved the CPU, the MacBook Pro won. The only area it didn't was compiling Mozilla Firefox. The Lenovo X1 Extreme actually won by one minute. So the keyboard experience is kind of subjective, but I personally prefer the X1 Extreme. They have the U-shaped keys, which fit my finger better. There's more travel distance, and they kind of have like a mechanical click to it, even though it's not mechanical, compared to the scissor switches on the MacBook Pro. Now, don't get me wrong. This keyboard on the MacBook Pro 16 is really good. Like you're not gonna notice a degradation in your typing experience. It's just, I find the Lenovo to be a little better. The one thing the Lenovo has is the track point. Mac Pro doesn't have, so if you're a fan of the nipple, you're gonna get that there. Touchpad though, this definitely goes to the MacBook. It's bigger, there's more space to move around, and it's just a lot more accurate. Lenovo still has a lot of work to do, or most Windows laptops, to catch up to the experience of the MacBook touchpad. 
Now sound, there is just no contest. Like Lenovo's placing the speakers on the bottom of the laptop and they just don't sound nearly as good. They're not terrible speakers, they're just not great speakers. On the MacBook Pro, you have six speakers and it literally sounds like you're listening to a HomePod. <laughs> So here are my closing thoughts. The MacBook Pro offers slightly better performance with the expense of a processor that runs slightly hotter. You do get significantly better battery life, better speakers, and you get to use Mac OS, which some of you just prefer over Windows. However, the downside to this is this costs $3,300, whereas the Lenovo X1 Extreme only costs $2,500. Sure, you don't get the best speakers, the battery life suffers, but you also get a lot more selection for ports and you get to customize what display you want to use. I'm curious to find out which one you would choose in the comments below. Would you go MacBook Pro 16 or would you go X1 Extreme Gen 2? Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video.